I'm Micah North, I'm the CEO at Resonant Sciences, and the focus of the company is on survivability. So we do a lot of different things for measuring the signatures of aircraft and signatures of platforms, as well as doing all sorts of different technologies to enhance survivability, be it from radomes to electronics to radar systems, uh, kind of runs the full gamut. So this is the resonant adaptable zonal radar. We call it the Razor system. So what the Razor does is it measures the signature of the aircraft or the radar cross section of the aircraft. So what we always want to know is what does our platform look like relative to a threat, a threat system. So we want to emulate a threat and see how our aircraft performs relative to that threat. And that's basically essentially what the Razor system does. It's used in a couple different ways. It's used, one, for development purposes. It's also used for production acceptance. And then other groups use it for maintenance. So after they've maintained, done performance on like a leading edge or fixed a part of the aircraft, come back and remeasure the aircraft to verify that the signature is back to what it was uh, what it's supposed to be. So. so the wheels were designed to be able to move the razor in any position. Oftentimes when you're inside of a hangar, there's not a lot of space with the jet and the razor in there. So we want to be able to position it and move all over the, the place with it. And so this will actually work as almost like a zero turn system. So you can actually rotate it around almost like a tank was how it works. The arm here will actually help for fine control. And so we can use this pretty well to, to get the razor in the array into position. So the system has on the front of it, it's a two to 18 gigahertz array powered by the radar. So the radar and synthesizer are here on the sides. And on top, we have multiple sensors up there for knowing where we are positionally relative to the aircraft. So we want to be, make sure, A, we want to make sure we never hit the aircraft, but B, we want to have repeatable measurements. So we want to be able to make these measurements in the same place over and over and over again. And we actually have another software package that we provide with the system that you can go in and actually watch the performance of your vehicle over time. So we measure components by serial number, part number, tail number, all the way out, and then compile all that over time. And so you can start to see trends and where you're having issues with the aircraft or things that are popping up, new, new problems that are starting to happen or materials that may be failing or uh, defects that, that occur in the system. We're constantly looking at expanding the system, making it more autonomous. Um, it's fairly, fairly autonomous right now, but it's more of pulling in the data, taking the big data analytics, which is something that we're looking at. So it is back to the AI. And so what do you do with the data? Now we've got all this data and why don't we turn that into something actionable? And those are the next steps and the next things that we're working with the system on. And the whole idea is to keep aircraft mission capable. You know, the guys in the field want to know, can we go fly? Is the signature good? Can we do that? So that's, that's the whole point of Razor is to keep aircraft in the air.